Despite the significant progress that's been made over the past 20 years, malaria is still one of our deadliest diseases. One child is dying every two minutes of malaria. So this is a really threatening disease and has been very resistant to many different approaches to try and control it. What we've learned is that we have to use many different tools together and the RTSS malaria vaccine is really going to be an important tool in this fight. RTSS is the world's first malaria vaccine and it's also the world's first vaccine against a parasitic disease. It is the first malaria vaccine to show impact against the deadliest malaria parasite. It generates an immune response that allows that parasite to be either killed or prevented from infecting the human host. In the first three RTSS malaria vaccine trial, the vaccine was able to prevent four cases out of every 10 children vaccinated. When you translate that into large population, we're talking about prevention of millions of cases of malaria. That's a lot of children's lives that'll be saved. Partnerships were incredibly important in getting RTSS to this stage. GSK first discovered this vaccine. RARE, which is part of the DOD, provided critical scientific expertise. PATH partnered with GSK to perform the clinical trials in Sub-Saharan Africa, and they have been absolutely fantastic partners all the way through this development program. And the WHO is coordinating the pilot introduction of the vaccine. Partnerships like this are vital for addressing critical health issues worldwide, and RTSS could potentially be a very significant step forward in controlling malaria. We can build on what we have achieved with RTSS to fight malaria. We've been dreaming about that we would have a tool like this, and my hope is that we see millions of cases prevented protecting the lives of children in Sub-Saharan Africa.